Hey folks, Stacy Cochran here, and I'm going to do a video update to show how to extend the range of your Razor EcoSmart Metro scooter. Uh, first, I'd like to say thanks for all the comments, likes, and subscribes over the past two or three years uh, on my original uh, Razor EcoSmart Metro review. So I've owned this scooter uh, now for about three years. Uh, and the number one question that seems to come up quite a bit is what is the range of the scooter? How can you extend the range of the scooter? And so I wanted to talk a little bit about an easy, inexpensive workaround solution to extend the range of your scooter. Uh, so the typical battery range on the scooter is about six to eight miles uh, on fairly level flat terrain with the Razor EcoSmart Metro. There are three uh, seven amp hour batteries, 12 volt, seven amp hour batteries inside the scooter. So it gives you a total of 21 amp hours uh, of charge. So what I have here today is I have a reserve battery. So this guy right here uh, is a 12 volt, 35 amp hour battery, which I bought on Amazon for about 30 bucks. So this is a 35 amp hour battery. Now again, what comes standard in the scooter is a total of 21 amp hours. So this uh, more than doubles the potential charge range that you have standard on the Razor EcoSmart Metro scooter. Um, I've added to this battery a 12 volt uh, adapter clip. So this thing is like a, a cigarette lighter plug uh, that you might find in your car and it's connected directly to the battery. And so if you want to extend the range of your scooter, um, one way to do that One way to do that. So if you want to extend the range of the scooter, one way to do that is to add a simple 12 volt battery. Now this guy's pretty light and compact. It's pretty light and compact. As you can see, it fits in the back of the basket of the scooter. And with this 12 volt uh, plug, I can then connect to this reserve battery an inverter. And so what I have here is a 400 watt uh, Bestec power inverter. Now for those folks who, who might not be familiar with inverters, what an inverter does is it converts DC energy into AC energy. Uh, and so this 400 watt inverter, which costs about 25 bucks on Amazon, uh, can connect to this reserve battery via the cigarette lighter plug here. So let me go ahead and connect these. And at this point, I can connect the original plug charge unit for the uh, Razor EcoSmart Metro, turn on the inverter, and you can hear the, the whirring of the fan there. I don't know how well you can see this, but the charge unit is now plugged into the scooter and is charging the scooter. All of this is fairly compact and is now charging the scooter. Uh, so let's say you were doing like a 12 mile commute. The batteries that come standard in the scooter aren't gonna get you 12 miles. Uh, and if you don't have a plug at midway point to recharge your, your scooter, uh, this offers a nice workaround solution to do so. Um, I've got another idea too as well. Uh, so if you really want to get kind of creative and think outside of the box, you could actually create a solar powered scooter as well. So here what I have is a Renogy 60 watt camping application solar panel. This thing comes in a foldable suitcase, which you could put in a, um, you know, in a cargo uh, carrier. I currently have an instep. Uh, you know, child uh, trailer that you can connect to your scooter to carry around stuff like this. So this thing is friggin' awesome. So this is a 60 watt uh, solar powered camping panel. Really durable. It comes in the in the uh, in the case, and this guy you can connect to your extra reserve battery. 
So in essence, you could actually charge the reserve battery off of solar power, never even needing to plug into an actual wall unit. Um, so a couple of really cool sort of outside of the box, perhaps, ways of, of charging your scooter, um, things to consider. Now, this guy costs a lot. The, the battery and, and inverter combined, you could probably get for about 50 or 60 bucks. Um, the solar panels, which I use in a camping application, are gonna run you a couple hundred dollars. So the solar panels might be a bit much for, for some folks, but if you're thinking about how to create totally clean energy uh, for your scooter, uh, it's certainly capable to, to power your scooter via solar energy. At any rate, I hope this video was helpful, gives you some ideas to work with. Um, again, the battery and the inverter setup is a really easy workaround solution uh, for extending the range of your battery. As always, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much.